We woke up on day two at the rally. We headed over to the visitor center to meet Dwayne, our tour guide for the Winnebago factory tour. This is kind of where all the magic comes together, if you will. We've got all of these facilities out and about where we manufacture all the parts and pieces that go into this. And here's where it starts to really come together and take shape, and it starts to look like a motorhome. This is just the Class A. This is just the Class A line. We run a mixed model, so we may see a Vista here or a Sunstar. And then further down the line, we have some of our commercial vehicles, which is just a shell. And then on the other side, we have Class C line. Same thing there, we run a mixed model production. You're gonna see views and Navions there today. Notice something here, the yellow in the floor. We're actually on an assembly line. These vehicles move through the factory, pulled by a chain, and it will pull these through, typically six to eight inches an hour. Everything we do has to come together at the right time, at the right place, for this to turn into a motor. And tell me about some of the details. I mean, from the stitching to the hatches, yeah, so we manufacture all of our own doors. Here's a great example of a fresh water tank. You're gonna see that manufactured later. It's in here, but it was designed for this motorhome, for this floor plan. So we manufacture that tank. We'll have the parts years down the road if we need to. We have the mold, we can actually remake that for somebody 15, 20 years down the road. We don't rely on component suppliers to build the things that we need allows us to design a nicer motorhome. The user experience is far better in a Winnebago than anything else out there. It's just there's so much going on. It's really hard to get a perspective on a camera. It's yeah. eight football fields long in here. It's a perfectly choreographed symphony of parts. The highlight of our tour was meeting Hugh Bauer, the president of Winnebago Outdoors. What a fascinating guy, really interesting to listen to what he had going. We're more vertically integrated than almost any other manufacturer there, where we have rotocast capability, we have stitchcraft's capability, we have plastics capability, we have metals capability. We own every aspect of the manufacturing chain. You can hear the action and energy around us, right? There's, there's bells going off, there's motorhomes moving, there's people trying to move up and down. This is the energy that's here every day, and we're really proud about it. When we talk about Made in America, I'm just amazed that all of this is made right here in Forest City. Made right here in Forest City. There's a lot that's changing in the RV industry, and it seems that Hugh certainly has his thumb on the pulse of that. We're also reinventing or recharging, I should say, the brand to make sure that the brand appeals to a contemporary audience, that it's modern, that appeals to a, a more youthful demographic that we've seen come into the RV industry over the last two or three years. The sense of belonging, we're trying to create a little bit more of that as we manufacture and design new things inside the motorhome. So just the little branding things that kind of go a long way to say you're part of the Winnebago family. Our little towel, holder, towel holder in yeah. the half back was a right. very nice touch. Yeah. It was really fascinating to hear him talk. His energy was contagious, his passion for the product, his love for the staff. I truly can't wait to see what he does for this great company. The best brands in the world, right, they have emotional connections to people. Whether you're an employee, or you're a customer, or you're a wannabe. When you see that flying W, it sparks something inside you, and you say, you know what, I want that brand to be part of my identity. That says something about who I am if I'm an owner, if I'm an employee. And we're really proud of that fact. Wow, that was an eye-opener. It was great. I loved it. How cool is all of that, all those people?